always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Okay, West Michigan, I want to talk to you about what's going on right now, but we'll also focus in quite a bit on Friday and the weekend. Right now, just a handful of showers across the board. We have had a couple of showers gain a bit of intensity in Kalamazoo County and Calhoun County. So here's the last two hours of Storm Track Live. You can see most of this is quite light, but then right at the very tail end, you can see that these two big downpours have sparked. I have our lightning tracker on. It's not coming in as registering any strokes of lightning at this point in time. So it's just heavy rain through Galesburg, North of Climax and then spreading over towards the south portion of Marshall. So this will be cutting just south of Marshall here within the next 20 minutes or so. They're not moving very quickly and a lot of the downpours like this that have formed today over Lake Michigan and West Michigan have fizzled very quickly. So we're not worrying about any severe weather today, but tomorrow the environment is going to be a bit different and a bit more conducive to severe weather. If you're headed out this evening, enjoy the temperatures in the 70s. It's going to get more humid here overnight tonight through tomorrow, and that's going to help to set the stage for stronger to severe storms. Looking at Storm Track Live, you can see we have a lot going on. Just a few clouds here, fairly quiet overnight tonight. But it's this system that's going to help to pop off some showers and storms for us, especially Friday night and then lasting through Saturday. Saturday, just plain old rain for us. So the warmest day for us is going to be Friday. We peak at about 85 degrees, and then by 6 p.m., you can start to see the cold air moving in. It's that transition that we're expecting to pop off some showers and storms. So step off so you can focus in on the future cast again this evening, Thursday, not bad. A few downpours north of Ludington possible. Waking up tomorrow to sunshine. It's going to be warm and humid, feeling summer-like and windy. And then later in the afternoon to evening is when we anticipate some showers and storms to spark. Some of our forecast models aren't painting it all that severe, which is a good thing. However, we are watching for the chance of strong to severe storms and then reoccurring rain showers for Saturday. So let's stick with Friday for just a second here. This is a risk of a tornado. 5% north of Ionia. This is mainly Mount Calm County and then off to the north. It's very low, but still 5% is more than zero, which is what we see usually for tornado risk day to day. Hail and wind, both at 15%. Again, low. That means most of us won't see anything, but still it is a present danger. So just to break it down, all of us will experience warm, windy, and cloudy conditions for Friday. Some will experience rain and storms, and a very isolated few will experience severe weather. Here's the eight-day forecast, 84 for tomorrow, rainy for Saturday. We could see an inch or two of rain. That's quite a bit. Sunshine returns for us on Sunday.